Hello and welcome to my unboxing and review of the Horus Heresy Praetor in Cataphracti Terminator armour. I have a couple of Praetors, I don't think they're in Cataphracti Terminator armour though, um, so this is quite an honour. Uh, I think this guy was sort of £26 I want to say, something like that, um, I'm not 100% sure, either way He's an event exclusive model, so you can only get them at the uh, Forge World events or Warhammer Fest or something like that. Um, or you can pop down to uh, Warhammer World and, and pick him up. I think it's a cool look looking model. I didn't go for the Chaos Psyker in the end because he's got a demon coming out of his hand and it would be difficult for me to sort of explain that with a Loyalist uh, Legion or chapter. But there you go, no uh, instructions on how to build this guy, so you just gotta close your eyes and, you know, hope for the best. Um, so yeah, nice uh, big base, lovely detail on the armour. This lighting is absolutely terrible. So as a bit of a med happy medium, I've sort of changed the lighting a little bit just by moving the, the model sort of into the sunlight, it doesn't really help. Right, so I found a spot of sunlight. Hopefully this... So what I'm gonna do is just zoom in, because it's the only sort of way I can get sort of light on it. If I move it closer, then the light is uh, blocked off. Um, but yeah, lovely detail. Hopefully you can see all of that um, on the model. Uh, this is the, uh, the back of the model, and then the arm, and then the gun. Looks like a combi uh, Volkite weapon. Very decent, lots of detail on there. Uh, and then he's got some kind of thunder hammer and that's his uh, head too. Sort of bionic, definitely fit into a uh, Iron Hand sort of chapter if you go in that way. Um, really nice looking model. Uh, it'll work well just with my Cataphracti um, Terminators. So uh, join me in part two when he'll be washed and uh, glued and uh, I'll give you my take on him. I'll, I'll go through some of his rules as well. And welcome to part two. Here he is, here's the model. We'll, we'll have a look at him and then we'll go through the rules and things. He's got a fair amount of detail. Um, I think I said at the start it cost 25 pounds, which is not too bad actually. Would have liked to have seen him at sort of the £20 mark, but £25 is is fine. Uh, he's got a nice uh, thunder hammer going on. I would say there was a bit of bubble in there, so I had to green stuff it. Um, but that was it. Uh, lovely sort of shields and 3D effect on the, the ribbons trailing down. And even the 3D sort of effect on the chains that hold that armour plate together. And his main sort of loin plate. Just while I'm doing the review, I've just spotted that there's quite a big chunk there in the resin. Um, I might have to just get a blade and just smooth that out a little bit. But it's no worries. It's absolutely fine to um, to build. Really easy. Um, the arm and the gun is one piece. This arm is one piece. Um, you don't have to mess about with the position of the gun. Um, the legs are one piece. Uh, the carapace and the front are two pieces and then the head is one piece so not many sort of fiddly little details um, very straightforward quick to to build didn't really have any issues and that gun looks looks crazy this sort of combi volkite weapon so yeah lovely looking model um, it'll go he'll go really well with the rest of my cataphracty terminators um, I'll just show you a few size comparisons so here's a, a space marine um, of the 41st millennium and he he towers over over him a fair bit heads and shoulders so definitely got the the right sort of scale there um much bigger than your average sort of space marine and then i'll show you him next to uh, another cataphracty terminator very similar they should be um yeah he's standing on a rock so he's a tiny bit taller but um definitely fits the aesthetic of them and this is a plastic one so you know if you're going to bundle him in a in a squad they're going to go very well together finally just because i've got one around uh just to show you him next to a custodian guard um it's actually very similar sort of height to a custodian guard um 
on the face of it. So there you go. Now before I go, I'll just uh, talk about the, the rules and a few tactics and things um, for the model. Uh, they can be found in the uh, Legion Astarte's uh, Dark Age of Darkness army list. He's a Legion Praetor, so he's double the points of a, a Centurion. And for that, you're getting an extra wound, a uh, better weapon skill, an extra attack, better leadership, and a better save. So he's 100 points base. Um, for the Terminator armor, that'll cost you an extra 35 points, but it does come with a combi bolter um, and obviously a power weapon. You can upgrade that power weapon to a thunder hammer and it can uh, then make that master crafted. So pretty much for 155 points base without digital lasers or anything else, um, that's quite a strong unit. Um, you know, put him in a, a group of um, cataphracty terminators, and he's going to hit with a lot of attacks, at high initiative, um, and he's got very high chance of, of hitting. And then with the Mastercrafted, um, high chance of, of wounding or re-rolling re to wound. So it's up to you if you want to do the, the Mastercrafted. He does have the Master of the Legion special rule, which is uh, possessed by Primarchs, Legion Praetors, and uh, certain characters. Um, so Centurions don't get that. Um, so that's worth the points too. Um, basically, they unlock the rights of war, which which can be specific to to different legions. So depending on what, what legion you you want to go for, um, that definitely has its uh, its uses. Um, having a praetor for, to unlock this rights of war. However, you can only include one of these as part of the HQ force uh, per one thousand um, points. So they're quite rare. It can include a Legion command squad as part of the same choice of the Master of the Legion force. And also, if uh, if the model is the Warlord uh, of the Legion, they can roll twice on their uh, Warlord uh, traits, re-rolling any doubled results. Um, select the first two uh, that they wish to use. So that's, that's pretty decent too. So overall, he is going to be, well, the Praetors. If you haven't got a Primark or anything like that, Praetors um, and Centurions to a degree are your you know main HQ for his Space Marine uh, force. So I just wanted to give you a few sort of rules and things regarding the model. So I hope that's helped. Um, I think uh, for the money he's he's quite relatively priced. Like I say, maybe sort of twenty pound would have been the uh, sweet spot. But uh, it really depends on how much you want a sort of unique looking. Um, cataphracty uh, terminator in your you know even in your plastic um squads or wherever so thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching the emperor protects